coming up in this read that is saying like I've, I've still got my responsibilities I can't I honestly can't just drop everything and, and run off and, and follow my heart and follow my passion that would be really really irresponsible it's someone saying I want to do this I want this more than anything but right now I can't Aries, let's get into your August love reading. Any information that you need, as always, you can find it in my pinned comment and in my description box below. If you're cross-watching for an Aries, then please switch over the roles because I could be speaking directly to you so that energy can be interchangeable. And please do remember that this is a general reading, okay? So it's not going to resonate for absolutely everybody. You only take what's resonating specifically for you and you leave what doesn't belong to you to someone else, okay? Please also do respect the tarot and approach it with patience, an open mind and without expectations. And finally, if you don't want to miss a video then subscribe and stay notified okay so Aries before I start pulling your cards I, I learned my lesson from the last time because I, I didn't tell you what was coming out in your pre-shuffle and then I started pulling your cards and what came out in your pre-shuffle um, it ended up coming out of of your actual main cards so I was like why why did I not give the information prior and then I could have gone deeper into that energy? Um, so you pre-shuffle and I don't always get pre-shuffle messages, but when I do, I, I will try and be consistent and, and give them. OK, so uh, some of you are dealing with a Capricorn and some of you are dealing with an Aquarius. If you're not dealing with those specific signs, then it could just be a message about those particular energies. So I was feeling that, that some of you are perhaps looking at um, rebelling against the system. OK, Some, something to do with that 10th house energy and you really bucking against the system. This overwhelming strong desire to basically try and do something unprecedented like completely brand new in terms of like love romance and relationships there could be a message there for some of you about um a, a love connection that is completely out of the box it's completely unusual so you, like you, you could have completely different cultures completely different backgrounds uh, one, one of you could be from more of like a, a difficult upbringing and like an upbringing of like poverty and struggle. And then the other one could be from a background where it was a lot more um, relaxed, a lot more free. Uh, resources weren't really a problem. You know, it, it, there could be that sort of difference in dynamics that, that's playing out. For, for some of you. Right, so now I've given you your pre-shuffle message. I'm going to start pulling your cards. Um, now this this deck, it, it's not, it might not be listed in the deck of cards that I use in the information below um, because this is my own deck. It's handmade, kind of. It, it isn't for sale either because it's not complete, okay? For whatever reason though, um, this deck is really want to come out this month and I started making it like two years ago and I've, I've never completed it like you can see that there's no graphics on it or anything um, a totally intuitive deck so just in case anyone asks where where did I get that deck well that that's where okay and it, it's not available at the moment right so um, the strongest energies around you you have metamorphosis ending hope strength lack stability and twin flame and at the bottom of the deck moving on okay so when it comes down to love romance and relationships it's showing me um it's very very likely that that pre-shuffle message it sticks for some of you where it resonates like that sticks you will find that oftentimes in twin flame situations um, that you will have come from completely different backgrounds, completely different upbringings. Fair enough that there'll be some similarities, 
pertaining to the types of trauma that, that you have been through and trying to heal through. Um, but like surface level stuff, that's going to be completely different. So we see we've got one side of the table in this sort of lack mentality and, and trying, trying to um, move on, find their hope and strength and really build themselves up from, from this lack mentality. Um, I don't feel that that is specifically your energy, Aries. I feel that, that you're the one that has, I want to say disconnected, like, but it, it, it's physically disconnected from the situation, but emotionally you're very much still in it. Um, so it, it's like you're, you're trying to find the strength within yourself to keep reminding yourself that, that you need to keep moving forward, that, that you cannot allow the, this twin flame situation to, to hold you back and, and to stop you from, from the, the metamorphosis, from, from this growth. Um, a lot of you have recognised the power and the importance of the twin flame journey. You, you have also recognised that it's not always about the, the physical union as well. I mean, that that's the bit that a lot of people get stuck on, okay? Because they, they deal with the twin flame situation from a human aspect rather than dealing with it from a spiritual aspect. It's a spiritual connection. So you need to come at it from the spiritual angle, which is dealing with it on an energetic level rather than within the physical, okay? I, I know it sounds really woo, but ultimately that, that is the best advice that I can give to those who are dealing with a twin flame situation and trying to find stability within a twin flame situation because that they are by their very nature uh, very uh, I don't I don't want to say destructive because it, it's never about what the counterpart does that makes it feel destructive it's it's about what we hope is going to happen within that twin flame connection and for some it never does and that leads on to instability ending of stability instability it leads on to that really intense powerful internal transformation that can oftentimes make us feel like we're not good enough OK, so you, you have to make the clear distinction between am I dealing with a narcissist or am I dealing with my twin flame? Because there can be a lot of crossovers. OK, but I will tell you, your twin flame counterpart, like your true twin flame counterpart, they will never hurt you deliberately. It will never be deliberate actions towards you that, that cause you pain. OK. Yes, there will be a lot of misunderstandings, that there will be a lot of um, just really weird things that happen within the twin flame connection that legit makes you question everything. Like, everything. It, it can turn your world upside down in, in ways that you would never have imagined. But again, it's not because of the actions of the other person. It's always because of that transformation, that metamorphosis, that in incredible, um, let's call it a leveling up because it does feel devastating while you're going through it. But I tell you, when, when you come out the other side of it and you can actually make sense of everything that, that happens within the twin flame connection, you're like, wow, okay, I, I, I can see it now. I, I can see why this, that, and the next happened. I can see why I was supposed to do it this, that, and the next way. I can see now why we never ended up in a physical, physical union. And it makes that moving on process uh, more refreshing and, and freeing rather than 
well, I've got no other option, you know, rather than something that, that you grudge doing, it becomes something that you willingly do with, with that moving on energy. It's like, yeah, now I know my place. Now I know what it is I'm supposed to do. Now I know what, what my um, soul journey it is all about. And it's all because of this twin flame, twin flame situation. Um, discovering strength that, that you never realized that you actually had. Discovering new things about yourself all of the fucking time as well. You know, it, it's when I say it's an intense change and transformation, they're not just sound bites. That's not just something that I'm saying just to fill up the time. That That is legit what goes on within the twin flame dynamic. You You discover that you're a lot more than who you thought you were. And the same is going to be true for your twin flame counterpart as well. Okay, so with that being said, we are going to um, find some space for these cards. I, I don't know where I'm going to put them. Maybe here? Right, so I'm going to shift all these over and I'll be right back in a second. Okay, what else is going on please? Our Aries Collective in Love. Aries Collective in Love. What else is going on, please? Thank okay. you. Okay. The Mirror. Yeah. Yeah. Mirror Souls. Know thyself, self-examination and seeing who you really are. Yeah. That's exactly what I was trying to tell you. Um, you you're seeing more of who you are rather than just well, my name is this, I do this for a career, I have such and such a family, you know, that that's just all really, um, it, it, it's important stuff, yes, but it's still just surface level stuff. You, you're recognising it. It's like you, you're recognising your true potential, your true essence, your true self, like you, you're recognising your soul. Okay, it says under duress, our true character can be observed. Observe who you are beyond the physical mm -hmm. and triggers or unhealed wounds. So, yeah, you're paying attention to um, the, the things that annoy you, the, the, the things that, that trigger reactions within you. You're paying attention to them and it's like you're sitting with those things now and, and you're working through all of the things that have perhaps happened to you you're making sense of so much this is like literally you're seeing the world from a fresh pair of eyes and then wave of power yeah a surge of power and upswing in energy exhilarating movement a time to truly exert yourself and take action work with the wave instead of against the wave and a time of triumph yeah yeah so you you're recognizing where areas in in your life um, which areas in your life work for you and which areas in your life you don't like so much and, and how how you can either adapt to them or change them completely. But you're definitely feeling a lot more energetic now as well. And in Rama, that, that's a soul journey. That's a spiritual journey. Time to stop talking or planning and a time for actually doing. Travel across waters is indicated, taking trips and going out for adventures. Wonder voyage, crossing deep waters, pilgrimage and journey of the soul. Yeah, and what a journey it has been, Aries. Um, you see with that saying, crossing deep waters, I feel that that's about the emotional depth of an individual. And I feel that it's indicating that this has been a very difficult emotional journey, but it's also been the thing that has freed you from things that were keeping you restricted in the past. Okay. under their transparency 
honest, authentic, genuine and present, there is a truth that must be told and divine sensuality, making love and erotica a truth that needs to be told. So it's indicating that um, for some of you, not all of you, but for some of you, the 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 emotions and, and the feelings and the depth of, of the emotion was never verbalized to each other. Like almost all of this has been playing out on an energetic level, which has, um, for some of you, made you feel like you were just imagining it, like made you feel like you were just being paranoid, that it was just one sided. Um, the, the, because again, the, there was never that verbal conversation of are you, are you going through the things that I'm going through? Are you feeling what I'm feeling? You know, it, it's really bizarre. Twin flame connections are very, very bizarre. Now, I wasn't quite ready for these messages to come out yet, but we're going to take them anyway because clearly they want to be seen. So I'm going to honour, okay? Leveling up, taking a break and core values. Yeah. You see how it all ties in. You deserve the best major improvement doing inner work, dealing with past hurts, not necessarily a breakup, take time apart, allow for a new perspective, find your centre and meditate and seek partners whose core values align with your own, meet your tribe at places of interest to you. Yeah, it's interesting how it says, look, this this isn't necessarily a breakup. You're just taking a break from each other. So if this is the kind of twin flame situation where there's been very little or no communication between you for a while, it's indicating that um, once your counterpart has found the new perspective the same way that you have, once they have leveled up, to your level then it's the the chances are quite high that you two will end up running into each other again rewrite your story rewrite your life story to how you would like it to be release feel peace and sleep subliminals um hmm I'm getting the impression that Aries, you could be getting a lot of like prophetic dreams right now. You, it, it, it's like your spiritual abilities have also leveled up massively. Meet your tribe at places of interest to you. Now, I'm, I'm reading this one one of two ways, okay? I'm reading this as basically you're trying to seek out new adventures, new people. Um, you're, you're finding those who align with your new spiritual perspective. Because you could be finding that um, that the company that you were keeping around you, I want to say that they're more concerned with the physical side of life rather than encompassing both the physical and the spiritual. So that there's like um, you feeling out of alignment with certain individuals that, that you're keeping company with, feel, feeling like you cannot share your experiences with those people because that they either wouldn't understand or that they would, um, I don't know, say, like accuse you of being crazy or this, that and the next because they haven't shared the experience that, that you've been through. So it's like, how, how could they understand? Um, and then the, the second way that I'm reading this is you met your twin flame counterpart at some kind of uh, like group setting or club, something like that. Okay. 
So it's coming in towards Aries then, please. Coming in towards Aries Collective with this situation, please. Oh, okay. Right, the Hierophant, the Six of Cups, and the Lovers. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to move these out of the way a second so as I can make room for the tarot. But yeah, that that's really telling. That that particular combination really, really telling. Look, this individual they definitely did come into your sphere of influence for a specific purpose. So, for for anybody who is trying to figure out what this weird weird connection is or was, um yeah that that is or was your your twin flame counterpart like straight up that they were here specifically to teach you new things about yourself see the high priest the hierophant that that can be a teacher lessons um it, it's also about like the religious side of life or the spiritual side of life uh two entirely different things like one of yous could be very very religious and like stuck and restricted because that that is a really restrictive energy as well uh stuck and restricted within a religious construct whereas you could be the one that's a lot more spiritual and and be, because you've embrace that spirituality by by its very nature you're more free um because spirituality is literally all about the freedom to be yourself it, it's a way of being rather than a way of doing so they're stuck in the way of doing and you're more leaning into the way of being you're a human being, not a human doing. Can you tell us more about this energy, please, for Aries? Oh, okay. Seven of Coins, the Queen of Coins, and the King of Wands. Yeah. Opposites. Oh, we've got another Queen and another King. Okay. Uh, that's interesting. Um, yeah, th there's definitely a mismatch in the energies that's going on in Two of Cups. Okay, so Zodiacs, you've got Taurus, Scorpio, Gemini, Capricorn, Leo, um, Aries, Aquarius, Cancerian. There's a mismatch because we've got a Queen of Coins to a King of Wands and then a Queen of Wands to a King of Swords. So this is showing me um, that it's possible that you and your Twin Flame counterpart, you're already in connections with other individuals, with, with, with other people. And it, it's indicating that there's this mismatch between um, certain aspects of each of these relationships. Five of Swords, Queen of Swords, Queen of Cups, the Tower, yeah, Ten of Swords, the Hermit, Five of Wands, okay. Um, hmm. See, it is, is really difficult because it does, it genuinely does feel like there's a lot of people involved with this situation. A lot of people involved with it. Um, some, something big is about to go down though. Something is about to happen that is completely and utterly about to change up the dynamics 
of this relationship here, this relationship here, and the relationship that you have with your twin flame. Your twin flame is one of these, you are one of these, and you're both currently engaged with other people, as in engaging with other people. Hmm. Yeah, that, that's twice that's happened in your read now, Aries. The Ten of Coins wants to be, like that one wants to be seen. I'm here, I'm here. Is someone, is someone telling you, I'm here, Aries, I'm here. And it, it was with the Six of Swords as well, so like they, they've they've dealt with something that they, they've left something behind they've processed something they feel ready they feel ready and they're saying i'm here aries uh, it could be it could be that they're actually wanting to explore this twin flame dynamic even further Thank you. I was looking at the Queen of Coins when, when I started moving my hand. The Knight of Wands. Yeah. Yeah, someone feels that they're unable to leave their current responsibilities behind. They're saying, well, I can't just drop everything and, and, and do this. I mean, it's possible that you're both separated from the the people that you were in a relationship with but there's still like family like that there could be kids somewhere that are still needing to be made a priority and that's whoever this queen of coins is like they're saying that that could be a feminine or a masculine but they're saying like I've, I've still got my responsibilities i can't i honestly can't just drop everything and, and run off and, and follow my heart and follow my passion, that would be really, really irresponsible. It's someone saying, I want to do this. I want this more than anything. But right now, I can't because I have to focus on my responsibilities or my, my family or, you know, whatever the case might be. Tell us about the Ace of Coins, please. Thank you. Okay, that's reversed. The fool reversed. Okay, so it's indicating, Aries, this twin flame situation, it's not over. There is so much unfinished business here, right? There is a brand new beginning here within this situation, this connection. There is a brand new beginning. There is more yet to this story that is needing to and will be told, right? But they're also saying right now, is not the time so keep doing what you've been doing keep focusing on your journey keep focusing on your stability keep focusing on appreciating the new beauty that, that you're recognizing around you keep focused on that and this will come in at some point it will come in but th there's something about the timing Okay, like definitely something about the timing is off. Talking about the, okay. Didn't quite get the question out again, but it's fine. The Hermit, yeah, Virgo energy. Um, okay. This feels like someone is trying so, so hard to hold back on their passion. They are trying to remain logical. <laughs> like they're, they're doing everything within their power, not to just throw their hands up and say, oh, do you know what, fuck it. Get in their car and then just drive to see their twin flame counterpart. Someone is doing everything they can not to do that. Nine of Swords, yeah. 
Yeah, they, they, they feel powerless in, in how much they can actually do because, again, it's like, see with this timing being off, something not quite right with this timing of this at all. You are both aware of it. The Sun, the Page of Cups, Hanged Man, Ace of Wands, Death, the World, Four of Coins, yeah. Yeah. Um, it's possible that either you or your Twin Flame counterpart is dealing with another individual still. That um, It's kind of like a, an ownership type dynamic that, that's going on there. It's like a, th a third person somewhere within this situation is telling someone else will you're mine you belong to me it, it, it's like an ownership thing rather than a respectful thing um quite unpleasant energy but th there it is give a healing message please for aries Okay. Vesta, Hearth. Okay, let's take a look. That's number 32, which reduces into a five. And fives are all about change. Change can be positive or it can be negative, depending on your perspective. Okay, right, so it says uh, Vesta calls you to be a hearth fire, to share yourself for the benefit of all, but still have enough energy left to live healthfully and give again another day. The second largest and brightest asteroid between Jupiter and Mars was named after Vesta, the oldest goddess of hearth, home, the family, and the center of a strong community. The fire in her temple was never allowed to go out, and the fire in the hearth of every home was sacred to her. She didn't get involved in politics or the misadventures of the other gods. It's asking for you to evaluate yourself and your life. Each human's task is to help reduce the total suffering on earth and increase the total joy. Your joy and suffering matter as much, neither more nor less than, than anyone else's. Do not burn yourself up for another's cause, nor withhold your warmth, but share what it is that you have to offer. This this is not a situation where you needn't to take sides. Come back to the center, to the flame, to your hearth and to your core values. Focus on that center flame instead of the personalities involved. So focus on the center flame instead of the personalities involved. Okay, so that's like, um, Again, it feels like that's a message of, like, you, you're dealing with a spiritual connection. So you need to take out the personalities involved and deal with it from the spiritual aspect. Remember what matters. Find that deep calm within. Light a candle with a prayer and use it to bring your focus to your center and let the rest fall away. Then decide, advise and operate from there. It may be time to take a retreat, a chance to clear yourself, clear your energy fields, cleanse your environment, reclaim your temple. If a relationship is truly of value and important to your soul, then the person or team that you're involved with will honor your process. Okay, Vesta, challenge, uh, Vesta warns you to share yourself rather than sacrifice yourself. Your hard work at holding the situation together may be ignored or taken for granted unless you know your worth. Find your temple within, the place of quiet safety where you can tend the fire and carry this sacred temple with you always. Yeah, um, so that is indicating um, recognize what it is that, that you have control over and what is outside of your control, okay? Um, time for you to take a retreat. So time, time to take a break, clear your energy, clear your mind. Never underestimate exactly how much you've been through, Aries. Like this 
the the twin flame journey is not for the faint of heart it really really isn't it's a very very difficult journey but it's also a very life affirming one as well and it puts everything in perspective even things that, that you would never have realized you know so it's time for you to reclaim your temple you are your temple reclaim your temple you haven't felt yourself for a very very long time because of everything that this connection has brought up with it and you have at some point had to question who you who you were as well so it, it's time for you to reclaim your temple okay don't sacrifice yourself either to satisfy the needs of others and again indications that you are here to help raise the consciousness of the collective and the twin flame journey has helped get you on that journey what else please for aries collective Okay, so Aries, just to bring a little bit of light-hearted energy back into your read, I'm using the Rebel deck. Um, take the Rebel deck with a pinch of salt. It can be quite abrupt. It can be quite brutal. But again, you can handle it. You are an Aries. Make better fucking choices. If you're pissed at where you are, then stop taking yourself there. So something about repeating the same mistake over and over and over and just becoming equally frustrated with yourself each and every single time. And then you're like, fuck, why do I keep doing this to myself? Have you eaten? You're, act <laughs> you're acting like a big ass baby. You need food in your belly. Eat a fucking taco. You're the shit. Don't forget it. Mm -hmm. And laugh. Where the fuck is your sense of humor? Okay, so that is what I have for you, Aries. If you would like to book a private reading, then you can make your booking at phoenixkiataro.com. There is also a link for that um, down in my pinned comment as well. If you do feel that you could benefit from additional support within your relationships, then you might want to go check out Everlast Therapies by clicking on the link up here. Uh, there is also a playlist as well that's available on this channel called Podcasts and Interviews. And that's where uh, Ernie from Everlast Therapies has provided us already with so much valuable and interesting information for free on how we can improve our relationships. OK, so, yeah, thank you so much for watching and we shall speak again soon. Bye.